there, this is Mark Edwards from Cape Yachts here in South Dartmouth, Massachusetts. It's a beautiful sunny day in March in New England. Uh, a little cool, a little windy, so I apologize ahead for uh, some wind noise in the audio. But I want to show you a uh, quick look at a brand new Beneteau 30.1 that has just come into our inventory. Uh, we feel very lucky to have it. We've sold several of these already. Uh, it's a great size and uh, very manageable for a couple, yet yeah, you can have uh, six of your friends on board for a day sail, and you can sleep four or six uh, uh, for an overnight. Uh, so this boat is a very efficient hull, as you can see. It's got the hard chine hull right there, which gives you some lift and buoyancy and some interior volume, but also some extra performance. Uh, the boat kind of rides on that line and powers up. Uh, it's got twin rudders. Uh, this is a direct drive. I'm going to come up here a little bit, so excuse the movement as I'm doing this single-handedly here. And uh, show you now up on deck. Uh, it's a great walkthrough. You can see I'm just stepping onto a swim platform. And now we have a two-wheel boat, uh, which is an option on this boat, but one that you really probably want to get. Uh, it's got a really long settee to port. Likewise, a uh, settee and a uh, locker, cockpit locker, full size. You can jump right down in there, store everything you want uh, in that starboard side. Uh, it's got a beautiful cockpit table right in the middle. You can sit six people for dinner when the leaves are up. And here's your dominant uh, driving station where you have your engine control. You've got your engine panel. Uh, you got, of course, the second wheel. And your electronics are stored out here. So uh, very, very uh, uh, easy to, to uh, adjust easy to see and um, uh, right where you want to move it there out of the way uh, so uh, you've got a beautiful cockpit you get two primary winches back aft for the Genoa and you got these two winches up on the house for maneuvering um, uh, this is an in the mass furling so you're gonna pull the sail out and back in from here and uh, halyards and whatnot I'll come back here and then we have the extra rigging in case you want to rig up a spinnaker uh, really nice deck you can see it's low maintenance, fiberglass tow rails around the outside, part of the bulwark, stainless steel grab rails. You got some hatches overhead with uh, passive air and a, quite of a large anchor locker and we could fit an anchor windlass there if you uh, are going to want that too. We did get the bow spread option uh, so you can have a uh, spinnaker and a code zero sail if you want to do that. Again, this is now looking aft on the deck, and uh, it's just a beautiful clean line, flush hatches, a great place to hang out. And again, it feels very safe to walk around here. The shrouds are outboard, so you can walk straight through without having to go around. And again, a beautiful cockpit. It's one of the focuses of these boats. Uh, this is wide and long and open. Uh, everybody can have a spot. So we really love that about this boat. And again, it's a great line, great look. And now we'll go down below. We got the lighter wood interior with the light wood floor. And uh, very, very contemporary, soft look inside here. Uh, so you can see on the port side, we have a galley, the L galley option, and a big refrigerator. Then you have opposing settees to port and starboard. Uh, there's a big table in the middle. When the leaves are up, you can sit Maybe eight people down here, certainly six easily. Uh, so it feels very big and spacious down here. Uh, you have these big windows on the side of the hull. Uh, so when you're sitting, you can see out comfortably. And all of these do have shades and curtains, which I actually just put away for the time being to make it as light as possible in here. But it's a very light boat and, and uh, you'll love being down here. You can see from the light woods and the light frames and the light cushions, it's a very soft interior. Uh, this is your V-berth. It's got two doors, so the cabin feels so big when they're both open, and they feel connected to the uh, to the aft part of the boat as well. Uh, but yet they close and give you all the privacy you want, and there's a separate hatch overhead with a shade and a curtain there. So you do have some shelves and lockers on port and starboard up in this space, so you got plenty of storage here. Now looking at the uh, uh, boat from the back, from the front looking aft, you've got, uh, of course, a port settee here. you got the galley back there. Here's your compression post for the mast, which is deck-stepped. Large table. And then you have the 
starboard settee. This aft seat uh, is removable. Uh, it's right there now if you want to make that a berth. It's removable and uh, you can sit here and, uh, and use this as a nav station too if you remove that cushion. So uh, you've got a couple options there. Uh, of course, so the engine is underneath the uh, ladder. I won't uh, go down there right now to uh, uh, cause the camera to move around too much, but it's a Yanmar diesel and uh, very well installed there. Uh, good size galley, really big icebox, and this is refrigerator in this case. So you can see here, it's a nice clean space, top load, so you can come and put ice in here, but it's also actively refrigerated and well insulated as well. Uh, you have your propane stove with an oven and broiler, so that's very nice. And uh, that gimbals and it locks, uh, so ready to go cruising. Uh, you have a really big aft cabin. You can see the size of the uh, bed back here. Uh, you could sleep with warships, but it's meant to be sleeping fore and aft, I believe. And you have an opening port in the hull, in the deck, into the cockpit, and another opening port there in the cockpit. So hatch right here. So really uh, a very comfortable uh, place to uh, hang out. And then you have the head here uh, with the manual toilet. This is your shower, which uh, there is a curtain that expands the full width of the space. And then around the side of the door, we have the actual sink vanity and a locker underneath and the mirror. So, uh, uh, so that's it. That's the space. That's our 30.1. The boat has just come in. Uh, it's available.